My Impact, Influence and Confidence programme is designed with talented women in mind to engage, inspire and build self-belief at work. For more information, go to bitfamous.co.uk. Hi, I'm Penny Haslam. Today in the podcast, I get asked a lot about how to get on TV or radio as a a guest, as an interviewee. How, How on earth do I get on TV or radio? And PR people ask me this as well. People who um, run PR agencies or in marketing departments, you know, how can I get my client or my boss on TV or radio? It is a bit of a mystery. Uh, The way I talk about it comes from my experience in broadcasting as a researcher and a junior producer and then a producer trying to book guests to go on local radio. I've worked in local radio and I've worked on national radio and then on TV. So I know how it works and I'm always intrigued by just how easy it can be, but how many people miss the trick. So if you want to get on TV or radio, it's the difference really between a one hit wonder. So you might have a product launch, a book that's just come out, a bit of research that you're going to talk about. You're part of the news Whereas I help develop people who have comments to make, opinions and expertise to share on the news. And that for me, in my experience of broadcasting, is where your long-term relationship can really bear fruit for, for many, many years. You've got longevity there. So think about the kind of territory you, you, you can talk about and then locate the types of programmes on which you could turn up. Who's dealing in that kind of programme? Who's dealing in that kind of story and where is it turning up? Twitter is one of the main social platforms where journalists find their contacts. So if you know your programme, your destination programme, say it is drive time on a local radio show and they always have a talking point, then, you know, you could perhaps get in touch and offer yourself for that slot and get in touch with them via Twitter, using their tag, using their name on Twitter, and also maybe hashtagging the programme as well. And hashtags are a good way that journalists find people who have got something to say on it. Now, you could just comment on the news about it, or you could share a video or a blog that you've written about it, or you've written in the past that is useful, and say, this is what I had to say about this. I feel strongly my Auntie Daphne did this. My Auntie Daphne, brilliant head teacher. And some article came up where there was some criticism of parents who were going to the school playground in their pyjamas. Lazy parents. It was a kind of like, oh, parents are so lazy these days. They can't even be bothered to get dressed. She tweeted about it and she contacted her local newspaper and she contacted her local radio station and said, I've got stuff to say about this. And guess what? She got on that afternoon and she had a really good time. She had a lovely chat with the presenter and uh, shared the ideas that she had about it, that it actually wasn't really happening. And it was just a bit of a, you know, tabloid press story myth. Uh, Anyway, she was useful. And as a result, her name went in the database and her telephone number. And she was called upon a few weeks later when there was a bit more of a serious news item happening that she could comment on. So, There is a kind of uh, approach to this, which is slow and steady. You're not just going to have success immediately, necessarily, although I hope you do. You've got to think long term and keep your ear to the ground about what's happening in the news that you might be able to comment on. Not just because you fancy being on telly, uh, but because you could be useful. And of course, the benefits of being on TV and radio are huge in that you can show that you are a credible expert to your clients, to your colleagues um, and get known a little bit and use that. And of course, once you start in this area, you well might be called upon for the next 20, 25, 500 years, I don't know, as a useful expert. It's really, really brilliant if you want to make yourself a little bit famous and you don't have to just leave it to chance. You can actually get stuck in. Thanks for listening. My third book is coming out in 2024. It's all about confidence at work 
and in life. And as you'd expect from me, there are lots of stories and ideas to help you build confidence, whether it's for yourself or for others. It might be colleagues, teammates, friends and family. Head to pennyhaslam.co.uk slash confidence dash book.